Do 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 do. But why? Why would I want the fucking Smash Bros. Ultimate either? Not this one. It should say just in process. Where's just in process? Oh, he's still on my desktop. What does this guy play? He plays so jack. Oh, you said his name was Sebo. Sebo. Okay, first critique wrong rocket launcher. He's equipped to the wrong rocket launcher. Um. Wait a sec, can I actually critique the. I think I can critique the, the rollout. Fuck, Justin. True. Although this one probably gives you better crit heals. I don't know, I like running Spoon on Pocket. I like doing the roll that Jay does where he like... He like does the, the skip through two and then he does like one more jump and then he's just done jumping. But you probably have better crit heals doing this, so... I don't think it's a valid critique. Probably gonna play glass and chill for a hundred years. Yeah, the hundred years of chill begins. Okay. Now, what was BB doing? Is this a double mom man? I gotta see again. I gotta watch this a hundred times to cover every angle. With no keybinds or anything to speed it up. What is the mid? You jump off the glass like a madman. Okay. Well, try to salvage, team's staying, because their position is shit. Interesting. I probably, you know, would have left after you sacked and didn't get the medic, but these guys are brave and confident. Both teams appear very brave and confident. Ah, uh, this is why he's ended then. I see. It's all coming together now. Okay, teams exchange. 
Got another pick, give a better Uber. Probably could follow through choke since the Uber's better. Never mind. Yeah, I think if you play with a little slight buff and for bows there, then you can like make this space without dying. But it's an acceptable death. You, you died making space, you got the point. Net positive. We're gonna get Uba, and then hopefully we'll pressure through sewer. And you can just like stand in this door and spam. Turning over. True. What is the, the plan here? Yeah. Demo scout goes Al Qaeda. Where is your demo? He's there. Oh fuck. That's awesome. <laughs> so normally my plan here. What I'm pressuring in sewer is um just trying to like move these people out of position or get some damage. Just make the sack uh good. Yeah, to make the sack a good uh a good uh Okay, so your first guy fades, and you just commit. But there's two scouts, two healthy scouts in your face, so it doesn't work. Yeah, normally, like, I'll, um, I'll take my, my pocket scout and demo and Al-Qaeda to pressure. To get them to react and go to a worse position. Or maybe we'll hit some spam or something. And then we'll sack. Maybe we can move that buff scout out of the way. And then the sack usually comes from like choke or IT, in my experience. Demo didn't pressure. Yeah, well, I mean, you did just go. <laughs> First BB just like went, and then the guy went. And then this guy just went. Like, both teams are quick. These are like Sonic. Unfortunate death. They're gonna push. Yeah, the the concept I'm stealing from other people here with the pressure is like fridge, you in your pocket you're the demo, are you super deep bad boy? Yeah, you after um your pocket scout gets through Al Qaeda and, and it's not trapped or whatever, he goes like forward a little bit and then you go in the space behind him and then Justin can just play like in the shutter and your runner can play in choke and your like flank scout can play IT and, Like those two guys will be the ones going in most often, but there's other ways to do it If you want to run um, Multiple soldier action. I think like launching them both from choke is pretty good. Why? How do we not die here? Is there a way? Exchange, down a player, traded. You see. Oh, well, you're helping with the fight. Now you see a pick. Okay. It's just because he jumped in and missed. Yes. I would have gone for this little splash right here. That's a sick splash. Or, you know, don't jump all the way around the corner, but I think that's fine. This guy just come out of forward. Killed your trans rights medic. Right. 
It's conceding. It's fair. I would probably want to jump the first guy in here. In this setup, where they're gonna push with add, I like like my my heals to leave by it, so that you can like heal both soldiers on top of the crate, and then you can go to that spot that you're in, like with 300, and like always have a 300 guy on the crate, on the height, so you can have like one one satellite soldier in the, the forward position that you're in. And then the other one can just be like up on this blue crate getting soaked and then you're like rotating a 300 buff that way and that way if you jump the first scout in your like likelihood of uh killing him it goes way up sweet and sour like patch yes I assume you're gonna do something offensive anyway, based on your positioning. Are you committed? I think BB Dirt Black Block is running away. This guy did a crazy jump, almost got a kill. Just good force. Alright, your team's Ubering through IT. Uh, if they pop through, it could be good for you to get a flash. And skip off the crate, assist with your demo bomb. Even if you don't get a flash, it's good to assist with the demo bomb. If you get the flash, you can go deeper, obviously. You can play it riskier, but if you don't, you still want to help wherever he lands. That's good. Alright, same leapfrog scenario. Hello, Boolean. They went IT this time. This guy gets the force. You trying to go behind for backup? Forgot they had a spawner. I did too. 101v1. I'd probably get Lobby Pack now or Sewer or IT. Nobody's turning for you, so these ones are safe. Um, your team has add, so conceivably you could survive long enough for them to get uber and then pinch when they come in with uber. That would be a pretty sick play. Yeah, staying behind in that scenario would have been good to, uh, okay, I don't know, y'all got like four somehow. Interesting. Okay, that's like uh, another play for a force. They get they get forced by a solo soldier without a buff way too often. Just need to exercise some patience. Get back up, add again, another leapfrog. I don't know why you guys are like drying right now instead of like getting the Uber, building the ad. They're like catching up on Uber. Alright, small window now. Go, go, go. Launch. So many dies. Not looking good. You went on a separate target than your demo. That's why you died. Yeah, this is, is spooky. Okay, they definitely knew that was coming. Using there anyway when they're all so far back and they know that's coming. And you lose players, and you keep going forward. It's too many, <laughs> too many red flags. Full add. Gotta make some kind of salvage to win the round, or not lose the round. Usually one of you is gonna like say that you're gonna play to stop here, and then the other soldier is like planning to go behind. Or, you know, get some kind of kill. Make some kind of play. Uh, what is happening? A 
Okay, that is just for you. That's unfortunate. We'll, we'll say that was unlucky, but don't do that. <laughs> it's important to know why you need to make a play there. Or why, you know, going behind or whatever would be a good idea. And why it's no longer a good idea once that Uber is over. So, like... You know, basic logic dictates in this scenario where everybody's alive that they have full ad one of you is probably going to have to like give their life to block the point and the other one might have to go behind or something right and like I don't know you were a little too quick on that to begin with like you, you went behind before the uber came in and then you were like in spawn when the uber was happening so that's like a, a minor mistake, something you should try to avoid. But then afterwards, when the Uber is over, and you guys like still have left and right of heaven, and you can like easily group up in some area, and you still have the point trapped, so there's like not much of a risk. Like nobody has to die anymore. So we just need to group up on the same side. And not, you know, let them overrun us through heaven or whatever. So yeah, just like playing up on the top right, I think would have been the play. Or from your perspective, the left. TLDR, like, you don't need to go behind there, you know? Don't need a play anymore. If, if no play happens and we hold our ground, like, they'll just have this ad and leave. And then we can Uber into them. But going behind obviously would be better. Like if you could make something happen, it'd be better. But three, obviously not the route through all those people. Maybe like through the left side, through five. I don't think you really want to like, you know, sneak all the way behind through one there. So you die. Okay, when you guys try to open up middle, you kind of always go sewer. I think you need to be going choke so that you can get health and bows. Like you, uh, you got a kill through sewer, and you are normally getting space, but you're like dying every time. And the the goal here needs to be, you know, taking space and not dying. So like my my flow chart procedure here for breaking in through this choke when we have some kind of advantage and we have a reason to take space is like my demo is going to knock the sticks off one of the sides and then my soldier is going to jump through and shoot at something and probably jump out and try to live. Or you like, you know, you tuck yourself into a spot where you can get bowed. But you probably have to go in and get out. And get bowed and then back in. Trying to get force, trying not to die, also. Good. I think you want to go left, get crit heals so you can block the point. Also, you just saw your whole team go left. Yeah, I, th I don't know for sure, but I think your medic died from a guy above him and left heaven. Alright, um, do you guys normally do, like, a setup where one of you is gonna block and the other one is in a more defensive position. Where does dirt block play? Because normally my blocking guy would be like up by heaven or something with like 300 on a, a full death ad hold. And then my other guy is gonna be like by two or five.
Hmm. They rotate? Where'd they go, bro? Yeah, they did. Okay, they get forced to spam. They have no cap time. The block to stop is a little preemptive. I guess you, you had to do it. Um, you can try to live though after blocking the stop. By trying to jump out. After you've already, you know, put in some work for your combo, you've blocked a point, you've jumped through a choke for something, you've cleared it, you should get rewarded with your little treat, you know? You get to bow, you get to resup, you get to get a buff. Um, I don't know why... Okay. I guess we... Yeah, this makes sense. Two Ubers ago, you guys launched in, they read it, they were all far out. Last time you guys tried to walk in, you jumped through sewer, everybody got killed, so you try to launch in again. They have Uber already, they counter pop. Y'all are thinking you can refight, I like that. I'd be trying to get Bo there, because you need another one anyway. And your medic doesn't look that busy. You're in pocket, right? Like you should. One of y'all should be allowed to get bows. And buffs. Epic destruction. More health equals more destruction. This guy doesn't like bows, I guess. <laughs> Controlling. Uber me, Doc. Oh no. You know, honestly, that's a situation where you get ubered. Just pretend you're Soapy Meister, dude. Soapy Meister gobbles up all the heal resources and ubers. You could be him too. You've been asking for too many arrows? What would Soapy Master do? Even though he's a roamer, but he's the, he's the roamer that gets all the heals. Okay, you're just like murdering again on middle. You and BB have destructive middles. You guys just destroy and pillage, and you you always bomb different things, which I think is not helping at all. Like, I, I think that's twice now that you've jumped to the left and BB fights, like, somebody on the right. I think you want to utilize the evil Bingus bomb that sends you a million feet in the sky. And then you could, you could, uh, utilize the practice of baiting each other. Or baiting a scout. Just baiting your friends. They engage in a fight. You land on that guy's head that he's fighting. Or not land on, but you you know hit him in the top of the head with a rocket. And then he's like, what the fuck? It took crater damage. It wasn't even in the air. That would be a good Bingus Bomb opportunity. And these like scrappy fights where people are leaving. I think you were doing this earlier, but that's always a good time to do a crazy bomb. They're trying to make a play. Like, you already have an advantage. They're scrambling. Maybe you don't have a buff, but... You have the resources in to, like, pogo into this group of people and make them caught. Alright, you should probably just go lobby. You have a pick. You can send a sack. I would want to be bringing my beam through lobby to send the sack before the gun's up. It'll make it a lot easier. Okay, I can hear that we didn't spot before the sack. <laughs> I hear that level 1 firing. Because he got the force anyway. 
I assume you're gonna wait for the bros. And then, um, my normal pocket route here is I'm gonna, like, probably go one of the doors near where my combo went so that I can be fucking 300. Like, my, the, the very common ubers on this map are, like, through 3 and 4, right? And then I just, like, trail it and jump into heaven above the side that they went through. Off of, uh, off these walls. Needing 300 is a crutch, but it's also, I think, important to realize when nobody's getting healed. Like, when nothing is happening and this guy's just soaking all his heals into one person, and he could, like, you could have four buffed players, but you got one. Yeah, um... The peeking for info part is good, but, like, normally, I think you want to communicate a little bit how you're going to peek. Like, I, I think, me tinks, on good teams, Caps will be like, I'm going to peek for, and then his teammates, like, go and, like, come to lobby to, like, help him if he gets fucked with when he peeks. He'll probably, he'll probably get buffed before it, too. But yeah, peeking's good, but like it's it's better to like coordinate that one guy is gonna peek and he's gonna do it with a buff and like this guy's gonna be behind him ready to assist if uh, someone attacks him when he peeks. Are right, we going five? We're taking space. I probably real real shit real spiel. If I was coming on a five play like this, I would have skipped through this five door off the right wall off the ground or off the right wall and up the ramp and then you would get up there with like a lot of buff left instead of no fucking health left <laughs> gotta get back on your camera the demo review caps demo and explain how you can do so much damage but his team still loses yeah well they beat us so I don't know that <laughs> that would make a whole lot of sense this is a demo review for Justin, who I'm doing for, for Mario Man's after. Okay, so they didn't defend the point. It was good on you guys to realize that. On a lot of most last pushes, splashing the point is part of your job. So like you're, you're jumping into a spot like I'm describing on a lot of these last pushes, and then if there's nothing else, to, there's no kill there. Splash the point, and then you move with the team. The big bingus bomb. I like that you jumped again. This is very good. That gave you the kill. Instead of going for the air shot. Oh my god, that's why he sent this, dude. That's why he sent this demo. What are you doing? <laughs> you let him die! No! This is by accident. <laughs> First you type taunt it, then you type something, and then you over here, like, taunting again? It's the first, the second taunt an accident? This is crazy. Nice shot, though. <laughs> the first taunt's intentional. Second taunt, Miss <laughs> If you're playing scout wondering where his teammates are, he's just taunting twice. <laughs> oh, no! Oh my god, air shot! Oh my god! Should probably go to lobby now. No? You don't want more kills? Coward. You're not gonna be the gremlin of upper IT? You have um, a pick, I don't think. I don't know that it's that pushable. No.
Hmm. Okay, interesting that you guys go for that. What's that noise? Alright, so. Have I been doing well? Yeah. Hydrate. Sure. Yes, it has been a bit. What's up, Banksy? Okay, so there's a few things I didn't like about this. Number one, when you wipe them, and you, um, well, I guess, you know, it's your choice to stack middle or to go for some kind of play where you can, um, influence your positioning on two. Like, me tinks, if you play, like, on the trapezoid or the two-door platform or, like, upper bats, and you, like, hit good rockets onto people as they come in, and then your teammates can get in quickly and, like, help lock down doors, then you have, like, a, a better shot of taking two. But that's just, like, a, a choice thing, you know? Choosing to stack middle, I think, is fine. After you guys get in here and you're in choke and they're by, like, two and one, like, uh, you just need to take the fight slowly and try to go for some kind of positioning. I think what you want to be trying to doing is like going in to the left and taking Spire. If you can get like buff scouts on Spire before they do and they're stuck back at their doors getting spammed out, then that's how you win this. So this jump that you did like all the way into them while your teammates were still moving, it's just like not, not good timing I don't think. Not really what you have to do either. I think you can be part of this unit that's moving through the left side and like you are jumping over the fence over and over and fighting these people. And then your choke and IT people can be the ones that like like make the sweeping play in when uh, the fight is already breaking out. That's kind of semantics, though. My point more so is that one soldier can get healthy there, and that the other one should be in a position to make a play. As to which soldier it is, it doesn't really matter, but... Okay, space. Playing fence side. You need to get your heels in. Alright, so... I honestly think... Fighting it from this side is a mistake, like, you have your heals and demo and choke, you have one guy pipe, and like, you were on the left. Like, the pipe in the upper IT is not the safe space you want to be fucking fighting for. The spire is, like, the key, and the sewer is your, like, safety retreat position from there. Go for a salvage play. Uh, not crazy about the timing. I probably, I'm. I tend to think that it's it's easier to make this play when they're moving forward. That they'll be more vulnerable when they're moving forward. But I think maybe you just got the timing wrong. Maybe we're trying to do that. Was it Banny play? I didn't know this hammer was a wrench. He's very cringe. Hopefully it does something. Okay. Yep, did something. Uh, don't you want to go soldier now? After you get your kill? You're like, out of metal? What is that noise? 
the noise play when somebody drops? Someone have a noise maker? Big ad. I would be expecting them to make a play on the doors. I think you need to clear sewer here. Okay, this guy's clearing sewer? No, maybe didn't clear sewer. Yeah, clearing sewer would be a job I'd give to you, but I guess if they're all gonna go here, let me clear it. They should clear it. I just don't understand. I don't get it! Nothing makes sense! <laughs> uh, why did you guys go sewer? <laughs> like, if I, if I was in that situation, full ad, they need to make a play to equalize it. I need to bait some kind of aggression. I would not be wanting to like do it into the little sewer shutter door. I would want to do it in the chuk. It's the biggest of the three doors. I would just like, like posture my flank scout in choke with a buff and have fridge trap the sides of choke, and have Justin clear sewer, and then um, like, they they have to bomb us into the traps or leave. I guess you could feasibly do the same thing in the sewer door or the IT door, but they're smaller doors. Waiting for the teleporter. Ooh, yeah. You could have stayed on NG. Built a gun. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> what you're doing is weird. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, you're, you're playing the roamer role there, which is fine, but you have to get in at some point after the uber get done. Just like took way too long to get in. Your med dorp? I see. Well, there were a lot of people in last. You chose to help them much later after they were all dead. But then you couldn't bait them because they're dead. Uh, the sewer shove or whatever. I don't. I don't normally do this type of shit solo. If I got, like, my flank scout set up for this play, I'll go for that. Obviously, you have a sniper, so you don't have a flank scout. But, yeah. I would just... I would not go for that if I didn't have a flank scout helping me, because 2v1. I already talked about, you know, how I play in this scenario when they have ad. I fucking have a big-ass fucking buff. <laughs> and then I jump the first guy in, and I spam. If I am going to go for a behind play, it's like uh, something that I set up with my scout. Oh. What is happening? You guys know you're bad? So there's, <clears throat> when you have ad here, there's no reason this shouldn't be a family Uber. Like, I don't see a reason why you and BB don't get any flashes and have to die during the Uber. Wouldn't it be better if you were invulnerable and the people that tried to kill you died? Even if you flashed like three times? Oh, okay. 
What is happening? The BBL and BB Dirt Block being in the same server kind of scares me. The team is just drying. They need you to bomb one. You comply. Shall should go to lobby now. You can get buff and get through five. You can keep drying. You can make dried rice. A Brazilian butt lift. I remember it. I just remember. So I don't think I need to tell you that getting spam down to 120 before the Uber is not optimal. If you were healthy and you wanted to come in here, you could. Um. Well, I would. Uh. I would just jump from here, into here, into here, and then explode in, in a fiery blaze. Or, if you don't want to explode, you do the same jump to the side where they are not. You look like you want a high bomb. You're standing next to it. This is good timing. You got them as they were crossing. Didn't get the kill, unfortunate, but the timing was good. I don't know how and why BB Dirtblock was not able to assist. From what I've seen, he's playing isolated down here a little too often. Maybe he needs to like start here and then get back to here and then get a little buff and then like jump off the wall so that he can't be thwarted. Your jump was unthwarted. Most of your jumps have been unthwarted. If you're, if you're not wiping them on them, it means you're not landing together, or you're not shooting the same thing, or one of you is getting denied. Interesting. Epic. I think you just take this for free now. Interesting and epic. Jump the forward. You guys don't clear uh, sewer again. Just whatever. No reason there. What is happening? Are they leaving? Oh no. They were leaving. Yeah, not the right side of that door to bomb, I don't think. If you, like, wait for your med to come out here and give you the tickle of buff, and then you jump off this wall on this side of the choke, you might actually, like, catch some people unawares and, uh, get assistance from your teammates. You can also do that jump from like right on the capture point. If you're not like flush with the pipe wall. Right, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what is this man? Oh, you have a sniper? Okay, you're opening the door for your sniper. Of course. The classic play. He wasn't like in the door though, so. Were you? What the fuck? Alright, clearly they're not over there anymore. Is this where you play when you hold? This seems so dangerous. I don't think I would do this. Okay, this though. Oh my god, turtle beaches have betrayed you! <laughs> Oh no, the audio direction in this game is so bad. <laughs> okay, 
Just committing. Epic. I like that. Got a force. Now we have to Uber out of process last. Good luck with that. Looks like you don't have to. They're giving. It's a Christmas gift. I think it's gonna end here. 3 0. What are you doing? Fast rollout? Yup. Of course. Yup. I think, um, a lot of these are like, you know, communication and coordination issues. I think with the mid fight thing, like, uh, I don't know, I, I had a lot of like different ways that I would tell Kyle that I'm not going to help him at all. I came up with a, a thousand different excuses over the course of the season. I'd be like, they're looking at me. <laughs> I'd be like, I, I, can't, I can't land on them. I'm weak. I gotta fade. Uh, I had all, all kinds of different things like that, I would say. And uh, my intention was to tell him to not land on them. Yeah, I lagged. My gun jammed. I sharded my jump. <laughs> Uh, they're all looking at me. <laughs> that one helps. Sc -sc Scout's looking at me. He's just on me, dude. Yeah, I gotta plug my mouse in. Uh, I did. Okay, so I downloaded a Mario Man demo, but I don't remember what map it was. I gotta look. Gotta look. It was sunshine. It was Mario Man sunshine. Yeah, this guy's his monitor's turned on this mid. Abort mission. You say abort mission? Is Mario Man here? Mario. Yeah. I need a uh, heavier waist though. I needed heavier weights for Christmas, so my brother got me, got me different weights, and slightly lighter. <laughs> but I could do different things with them. Mario. Um, my team is sharding. I guess I should just watch him. I'll just watch him, for the most part. Talk about his team a bit. Why hasn't the game started? Have I considered going to a martial arts gym nearby? Uh, yeah? I don't really want to get hurt or uh, punched in the head, though. Like, I would be interested to learn how to fight, but, um, I don't want to get punched in the head. I don't think this demo is what he thinks it is. How how is this what I downloaded? Oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> Didn't think you'd get put in the ringer your first six months. A little CTE, never hurt anybody. That is too fucking big to be getting involved in fights, Meg. <laughs> yeah, I would be interested to learn like jujitsu, boxing, uh, kick kickboxing, how to kick, Muay Thai. Yeah, I sparred a little bit when, with my friend when I was 12. He, he did boxing when we were 12. And he would make me put on the gear and he would attack me. Uh, 
I just like don't leave my house that much or spend money, but I'm, I'm trying to do more. I'm taking some classes in my community college. I'm taking more. I don't think this demo works, man. We're at the least in as long as you tap early. Yeah, my friend in the area started going to a jujitsu gym. And he, like, broke or separated a rib pretty early in or something. It's not like a combination of jujitsu or anything, but it's just funny. This is the demo I downloaded? Surely this is not the one he meant. Surely it's the one right before that. I'll try downloading that one. Mario Man Sunshine 2. Didn't think I'd enjoy combat sports at all. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I would. I think that I might enjoy just like the aspect of uh, an activity that's exercise that is more engaging. Like I, I like playing basketball when it gets warmer out, just for exercise. But it's fucking breakout all the time. Most of my fucking activity is on a bike in front of a TV. But I'll be watching my YouTube videos. <clears throat> but everybody's using this rocket launcher. Also, what is this rollout? They're doing like a double fast rollout? But then not. I more well, than just forgot to equalize, I guess. Okay. A few things here. Number one, he went left, his whole team went right. That's a scary, that's a scary no no. Number two, it, you don't need to rocket jump twice to get on top of that cafe. Just need extra damage. Number three, cool bomb. It's a good mid to, you know, bomb them when they get behind this cafe or Tetris or whatever and just meet them. But uh, going left alone is risk, risk. Run the risk of dying. What jumps could you do from here? You could just like jump to height and then jump again. You could double off of the wall to this thing. gonna die. So close. I like this posturing on two. Need health though. I don't know anything about this, dude. Mario Man sent me a demo. It was not the right demo. So I looked at his demo's profile, and I clicked the one right before it. And here we are. I think he... I do know what div this is, though. That was in the message. It was... Main. He said, My team is sharding, and I must get out of main this season. You guys kind of took a while to get into lobby. 
It's better to sack earlier here so you don't have to sack into a level 3 or kill a level 3 before you sack. Um, next thing you want to do though is spot. You want to buff a scout and he will choose a safe door to spot from and other people will assist him when he spots. Then you know where the gun is, then you spam it. Yada yada. Otherwise, that. Okay, if you don't, I'll leave lobby immediately. You're gonna get forced. Give them an opportunity to push out. Which would appear is what happens. You guys have a choice of defending this from plat side or valley side. What are the important things to have on plat side? I think if you're gonna be up on plat, you need to have stickies on this. I think this this other soldier is in a good position. He can help with shutter. He can help with dungeon. And then your job is gonna have to be like bats and lower right. You're just trying to get damage so that they force on the way in, trying not to lose anybody. They force to shutter. You honestly could have juggled a bit harder. This is like, um, kind of a thing I, I don't know. This is more semantics, I think. But I think it is a bit underrated how much you can do to juggle Ubers. If you have any projectiles. Like, if you had juggled that demo man on his jump, your medic would live. Like that is a big thing. I think it's worth risking your life for. The same, same with your demo. But I mean, after he didn't already have sticks on the shutter, and you guys tried to defend Plat, it was kind of like spooky. Like I saw him trapping the the staircase thing, and then you were like looking to hold this, and your medic was like in the middle between. Like if you're not gonna juggle them in the shutter he needs to like be in the cafe door but you could juggle them in the shutter <clears throat> the salvage I think is a bit misguided probably better to just like live here and put down shots for your Brazilian butt lift guy some of the same people in this server Got a spo. They're playing right side. They're jumping your choke. Interesting. You're killing a feeder. You heal your roamer. The shit's free. Could take another point. I don't know why he sacked so quickly. You still have a spy. Nothing makes sense, man. Yeah, with, with the way you guys are like sacking around while you have a spy, it doesn't give him many opportunities to die as well. This is good though. Help him with the demo. I just need to regroup with your medic in this post. It's kind of their only objective at the moment. If any of you die, it'll be because you didn't do the thing. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't do the thing. Yeah. You guys were just not buffed. They're gonna like end up with ad. That's crazy. Alert. The control point is being contested. 
Like, what is happening? I feel like it, you guys went spy three minutes ago, and it's just been a few states since then. What? Is, why are we using out a blast here, uneven? Huh. Maybe you want to give him a chance to win the game. Maybe that's the objective. Because if you want to win in TF2, you have to be really lame. Just like set up your, your pyro and your gun top left and your f 15 projectiles on the right. And you, uh, you reset that round and go back to middle. Alright, he's spooning. We're going left. Normally, like... <laughs> Uh-oh, Stu Minkus is in here. If you were going left, I think the things that are important are that you, you have the left cafe roof, you don't get flanked by a soldier in the cafe, and you move forward in front of the Tetris if you go forward. It's okay to go behind it if you have the cafe. Like, if you've already cleared cafe, you can... You can take your medic on a circuit through there, up on the wood. <clears throat> Alright, just kind of instantly scrapping on all sides of the map again. Yeah, so, if you want to win on mid, everybody should try to fight on the same side. And um, your scouts should try to live and play buff and bait the fuck out of you and your other soldier. That's like a winning strategy. Everybody fights the same shit. We bait our bombs. We, uh... We have scouts alive. And then we win. This is scary. Scary hours. Okay, when I hold cafe, I play like on this angle or something like that. I'm always like looking at this angle. Alright, we gotta pick. There's five players looking at you. You're fading. Eternus commits. Poggers. Mm, lingered in the choke too long. I don't know that. I mean, Stu. He, he tried to make haste out of there. I also don't know where your other scout was. Stu getting forced though is kind of a disaster. It's like a one one guy sack. I think this is very holdable. Okay. <laughs> that guy dying why, why are we all making plays in lobby? You have a fucking gun and you're sixty. If you just build, you're gonna get Uber. Probably are going to need to assist this guy on the right. I don't know that you want to play near each other. I kind of just like sit here and then jump. And then have one guy play on it. One guy baits the other guy. 
I only say that because your gun is towards the left. So, like, the, I think the heels should be right also in this instance. It's like the most obvious door the sniper's gonna peek, the gun's not covering it, it's got the least protection. Uh, there's like a, a concerning lack of 300 on last two. Like, uh, hitting your bandy bind and getting 300 is really big. It's a big ting on this last. I don't know what you're doing, but you're trying to have too much fun. That's the issue. Blue team's trying to have way too much fun. You need to be way lamer. And have a lot less fun. Especially if you're playing against a pug scrim. You just gotta bore them to death. Like this. Sacking, you're one down. Defending last. That's what people in the industry would call a mistake. Oh no. They've sacked like five people, three top left, onto Stu Minkus. Yeah, would you agree, Havana, that dying while defending last is a mistake? I don't think that's right. I think you want to live. Uh-oh. Dying bad, live good. Kill them, win game. 300? Good. 200? Bad. With 300, you can fearlessly flashbang for this guy. With 200, you have to turn your back to this guy and pray. Zero, yeah, worst number. It was good how you guys killed them all there and uh, push out of last. That was really good. Do that again. It was really good how you rocket jump quickly here. That puts the pressure on the enemy team to be a dead. It was good how you chased this guy around the corner with 60 health. <laughs> When you could have just gone to your teammates and asked them for support. That was really good. Your team has uber advantage. I think they should wipe the other team. That's just my analysis. I think if Stu Minkus had the support of his other teammates, he could wipe them. Like if he if Z Squidda was with them and he could sticky jump. I think your teammates need you, Mario Man. You gotta get in there quickly. Nice. Alright, get a bow. And go for some mo. The demo man, the demo man. He's a, the demo man? You see a demo man like that appear on your screen? That's like a baby deer. A baby deer appeared on your screen. Baby deer is like the second most valuable rocket launcher target. Just like in Bambi. <laughs> You see a baby deer, you blow that fucker up. On the totem pole, baby deer ranks above scout. And just below, um, baby bird, which is medic. Alright, this play, this was bad. Because you died, and you didn't hit any of them. That's what made it a bad play. Also, um, I think I said this in the Justin demo, but, um, like, I'm the type of guy, players like me, we bomb the medic when he walks towards the door, not when he's standing back here on the middle waiting. That's just me. Players like me, we kill people in small boxes. But that's just me. 
bound to trade with other soldiers or only one feed in medics that flips the coin and decide which it'll be. Um, you forgot bomb scouts over and over. Option three. Alright, they do the explosive Uber. You guys read it. You read it on Reddit. And now you might think. You may be tricked into thinking that the correct play here is to uh, trade this guy out and then push out a last. You might have been tricked into thinking this. You actually want to reset this round. And I'll tell you why. After you take second, you're going to have to take middle. It's what's next. Yeah, you may you may have been tri your mind may have been tricked into thinking that the blue team is doing well right now. That's why it's called the trick. That's why they call it a trick. Dude, this guy's crazy. Where's Mario, man? Oh, sex! Mario, man, is having sex with them against their permission. Send this to an RGL admin. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I like your, your willingness to assist with all these fights. Your teammates are a little too aggressive. They miss the, the memo where you're the flashbang and they're the player that survives the round. Bro, do you get a force, though? DUI ban? They should, man, they should. Awareness. Mario Man awareness. Mario Man gets bow. Mario Man clears lower. He can clear dungeon, but uh, there's no scouts alive, and he saw the only soldier. It would have to be a demo of Act Captain Dungeon, which is possible. Very hard. Alright, Mario Man takes space, and he survives. Oh. I think this dude Siki jumped out, but I, I try to avoid jumping the places that I trap most commonly. And above the bell tower is one of them. But I think you did see him Siki jump, so whatever. Whatever! <laughs> Mario Man holds Valley. His soldier holds cafe. They're both door holding. I like it. Mario Man's team stops the dry push here. They're gonna try to get this Uber. Now, will they get the Uber and then wait for Z Squido? I think that's what they should do. Yeah, if I play demo against me on soldier, it'd be rough. Alright, so what do you see, Mario Man? You see fucking. Four ombres on the battlements. What does that tell me? That tells me the cafe choke dry push is what we should go for. Should try to choke and dry through cafe. Try choke and dry. Should try to dry through cafe and choke. Like our beam choke. Or our beam cafe probably. And then like you and a scout choke or something. It doesn't really matter that much the composition. And then we'll like bait people Bait their bombs. Try not to use. Doesn't really matter that much if you use here, because then they have to use that a last. Alright, your timing was very cringe, though. Very, mc very cringe, McCringe. Maybe not. Maybe your, your teammates just ignored all the things that went for you. Something here is cringe.
I think the idea here is he wants to jump in to make a distraction that the Uber Pop can capitalize off of. The problem is his distraction is if you could imagine his distraction as like a, a circle. It's in the wrong part of the map. He like drew he threw a little you guys remember the, the black holes from Nazi zombies? The black hole grenades? He threw a little black hole over here. And it sucked two flank players over towards this corner. But the the Uber play did not want this. They wanted the beam. The beam was already bats. So what I'm trying to say is your black hole, you should have thrown your black hole grenade over towards the right so that people came out at you and then your uber came into them. Maybe they'll they'll both die anyway. They do both die anyway. Your flank is crazy. But it, it doesn't work. I don't think this worked the way you guys wanted it to. I'm not sure, Jim. I think that's a good concept, though. Just, like, not executed well. Like, if, if you have this ad here, and they're in that kind of positioning, you, can, you could go for the dry, or you could go for a play where you, you know, make a distraction that they overcommit for, and then you can catch them with the Uber. That's what you should be trying to do, I think. You you distract the pocket scout, those people over by bats, you draw some, one of them out of position, and then z Squido lands on them bats. There's a very similar Uber I see people do on Metalworks, where they'll take like the, the Metalworks Uber from mid into two, they'll go through the bridge, and they'll have their soldier jump high through alley and like, you know, be above the bridge before the Uber comes in. So they're like distracted over on that side. Some of your uh, space making endeavors on two are just like too risky. Like, you just need to, like, be in the cafe door and not, like, on the plat. And then you'll live. I would go for that demo, bro. Anytime a demo jumps that far, it's a pretty good idea to pay attention to where he lands. Because he is probably not going to be healthy. And he is probably not going to be able to be flashed before you can fire two rockets. Another ad scenario, you kind of like fuck up yourself with craters a lot, which is something you want to be avoiding. I think that's just going to come with more time spent jumping around on these maps. Yeah, I knew you would crater off that jump, man. <laughs> As soon as I saw how much height you got there, I was like, he's gonna crater off this. This is a soldier with broken feet. You eat that sicky? That was weird. <clears throat> Guys have ad. Guys should be moving. Don't know why, I guess. What is happening? Uh, even if you thought they had Uber, you should... I have an onus to do this before they get a gun up. Hmm. Who's spotting? This guy's spotting. He sees four things here. This guy's spotting. He sees one thing here. We should really get somebody through left and into left spawn. There's enough space there for that. Okay. I don't know. Where's he getting murdered? I just run. Back to middle. Jump, Mario Man. Take to the skies. He needs you. Blah! 
ha! Unfortunate. Thanks, Dr. Chungi. Chung guy. Do the speed shot here through cafe. That'd be fat. Alright, jump then. To the skies. Okay, epic. No problem, Dr. Chungi. Good luck. Finding a team. I don't know what what teams are like in 2024 TF2. What happens in TF2 in the year 2024? Maybe it's time for me to make my off class team. <laughs> me on scout. Zam on soldier. Somebody on medic. Somebody funny. I'm trying to think of somebody funny. Yeah, you guys are getting sniped. I would suggest uh, pressing duck, maybe? Okay. What is happening anymore? I don't know what is happening. They are peeking belly with sniper. <laughs> what is this man? Where is there are his friends? Okay. 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 Oh, he's just too good, dude. This is like that video where JPEG gets 70 kills in a pub. That's what this looks like. Okay, seriously, what is happening? We're just like all sacking into the medic on middle? Is this a cough map? <laughs> I'm losing my mind! Alright, so Mario Mans, Mr. Slim may have told you to push out of last year. You actually want to reset the round. And I'll tell you why. The alternative is hard. You're not going to want to do it. Okay, real talk though. Let's take a look see. If I was going to push out of last cuz I do Brad. Maybe I'm super cocky. Um All right. My crystal ball is saying that this is not going to work. Using from the lower left door across to here to catch him. I mean, maybe if he like doesn't if he doesn't start healing the scout and running, he will be caught. But um that's on him. If he does, if he does those things, <laughs> him being out here in general in front of this guy is a him problem to begin with. But if he does get caught by that, that's a him problem. I would probably be looking to not use through lower right, based on this defense that they have going on. There's like not a lot of pressure on the lower right, so shouldn't have to use out. Whatever. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, dude didn't get caught. He moved. Flank's getting flooded. Because they went for the impossible challenge. Uh, the flank flood doesn't get shit, though. So, you might end up taking second? It's just devolved into DM. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how you lose rounds. Isn't this how you lost the other round? Tried to push out of last? It's simple. It's a simple solution. If you want to win in TF2, be a loser. Be everything that you hate. And more.
interesting route to check dungeon. Uh, why don't you put exert more pressure on the cafe? What's the what's the issue here? What do you guys think they have Uber? Yeah, hold that door better. I don't. I don't like how much space you guys give them, Cafe. Like, you you need to be peeking the door the whole time, and then once they show up, you should be, like, aggressively trying to stop them from getting past this little shadow area with your, your heels pumping into you and your demo man sinking things over you. Holy shit, Stu lives. Christmas miracle. Oh. Uh, your death's a bit unfortunate. I think you guys lose this because you're not playing around, you're happy. You should treat the heavy like a sentry gun. Like, our, our heavies left spawn, we're gonna fight things that fight our heavy, and not take any other fights. If anybody else is getting fought, they're gonna resub, and like, go back to the sentry gun. Okay, the heavy. Alright. Hmm. They did the double cafe roof mid. And I really can't see shit from your pop on the double pumps. <laughs> like, uh, the, the isolating yourself in general, not a good idea. But. I think the big reason the bombs aren't working is because, like, we're not coordinating it with our team at all. And I don't know if it's because they're, like, not moving the same way as you, or if they're getting fucked up by other shit. I think they're getting fucked up by other shit. I think they're getting Bobby Schmurded. So they can't help you. Tick was it nine or ten or something? Erm, um. where's that sentry gun? Oh. Sadness. Okay, your demo man is left. Your other soldier is left. You are on the central, trying to assist with the left side fighting. Okay. Not bad. If we reheal, we should be able to refight. Give, get another bow. Alright, now fight. Ooh, what are you... Why are you all trying to die instantly? <laughs> this is scary. Who is, who is in your head telling you to die? Who is it?
In your pocket, Scout? You're playing <laughs> Is he just like, commit, commit, commit? Like, I... <laughs> make it make sense, dude. Make it make sense. How? How are you guys gonna, like, wipe them from... You're just gonna, like, Rainbow Road, fly across the map, direct them while flying, and then you just wait and stuff? Just, do you ever do that? <laughs> The other team is, like, presenting the body language of, like, I'm a pussy, I want to leave, I want to concede this point, I'm down numbers. And then you guys are like, we'll find a way to turn this one. And the way you do it is, like, doing 100 self-damage to yourself in explosive <laughs> and crater damage. Then landing on the low ground in front of them. That's pretty cool, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, the, the holding of doors was cringe. The mid fights were kind of cringe. The he's play on the same side of last. You guys are you guys are missing the fundamentals. You hit that that Danny fundamentals video. Then start implementing plays you like. For your troubles, I will give you a purple crate. I mean, your your mids were cringe too, Justin. You have to fix those mids. And when I when I look at the mid from a bird's eye view, I want to be able to see what you guys were thinking. And not, like, see that there was no plan. <laughs> if I can if I can see the plan, then you got more to work with. It was fun. I need, um... Something to do now. I don't see anything. Mr. Donovan is bugging. Oh yeah, first I gotta see if anyone needs a newcomer ringer. Nope. Nobody needs a newcomer ringer. Alright, let's look at the pug. Is this guy live? How much time is left? Oh, I'm sorry, Kevin. I just missed your message. 26 minutes. GG! I'm hosting this guy. Sorry, guys. I, I do have 26 minutes of YouTube videos, but... I would rather, like, <laughs> exercise or read a book or something. Yeah, Bella's chasing the RA to you. It's so predictable. I'll get on my bicycle, my bicicleta. Thanks for watching, guys. Glad to help. Hopefully, the advice is useful and not just entertaining. See you later. Oh, wait. I forgot to host him, bro. Almost forgot. Love you. Yeah, we making it out the hood with this one.